Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm Robin Levesque, and I work with organizations that want to co-create a culture of positive leadership at every level to reduce the cost of stress, absenteeism, and turnover, and to increase employee engagement, effectiveness, and client satisfaction. Today is a very special day. I'm welcoming a very dear friend and colleague, Mitra Mohamadzadeh, who is going to talk to us about the grief recovery method. I met uh, Mitra a few years ago at a CAPS convention. CAPS is the Canadian Association of Professional Speakers. And uh, we, we hit it off in terms of our interests. Uh, she's very interested in leadership and positive leadership and organizational development. Um, and at the time, uh, we were looking at, uh, she was considering entering into this program called the Grief Recovery Method, uh, which she has since taken and really has become a master. Uh, Mitra has taught at universities and colleges all over the world. Uh, she's originally from the Middle East, has been uh, in Canada for over a decade now, and became a, a Canadian citizen uh, just about a year and a half ago, I think, or two years. So congratulations on that, Mitra. Uh, we, we have been exchanging ideas and uh, collaborating on projects ever since, but this is the first time that we share the virtual stage together online, so it's a, it's a wonderful experience for me. And um, yeah, so, so Mitra, I'll, I'll let you talk more about what it is that you do, and in particular, the grief recovery method, but welcome. The virtual stage is yours. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Such a great introduction to introduce me. And uh, I, I'd like to say that how grateful I am that be here today in this uh, workshop with you and everyone welcome. As a Robin introduced me, I'd like to add also that I work with organizations, team, individuals to that, um, that want to transform the culture of mental health at every level to boost engagement, increase productivity, cultivate inclusion, to reduce the cost of mental health training and absenteeism for both employee and organization tribes. Okay. I'd like to talk about can, why grief and can grief and loss lead to mental illness? What do you think? Experiencing the loss of beloved or other types of any losses can be traumatic and truly heartbreaking. The mourning process can be confusing and individuals may feel that their life will never be the same. I have been through this situation in my life and I lived with the same situation. Grief is typically an emotional roller coaster, but this chronic grief can sometimes develop into a mental health disorder. In some cases, grief may even lead to a state of depression. The mental depression and mental situation effects on grief can negatively impact a person's action and behaviors as well. When people or individuals struggle and neglect, neglect to get mental health or depression treatments, they may engage in dangerous or more risky behavior than normal. I have been working with many different cases, such as for some of them were 
involved with self-harm or suicidal actions. So the mental effects of grief, because it's different for everyone, but also most people would agree that dealing with loss can take a toll on their mental health. Feeling of sadness, anger, loneliness, and hopelessness are common emotions that individuals experiencing during the grieving process. This emotion can be very in severity, but they may be overwhelming for some of people. So based on this introduction, yes, we have realized that grief can lead to mental illness. So creating a mentally healthy work-life balance through the grief recovery and some neuro-linguistic programming toolkits as uh, you have been in this workshop last two days with uh, Robin. And we ha you have already known some new techniques. We I will add NLP techniques that help organization teams better understand how to proactively, comprehensively, and effectively support men their mental health at work, but also in life. As we all we know, historically, good benefits helpful EPAs and generous time off were the gold standard for supporting employees' mental health. In a recent year and almost two years, we know with the not situation with COVID-19, it has been supplemented by availability of self-care resources, mindfulness apps, and the meditations program. But I do believe there is more to it. Okay. Develop an... an the, Develop an actionable grief recovery method strategy to drive culture change of the mental health in a workplace. Also, we want to support teams, employees' mental health through raising grief recovery awareness to learn how to help themselves than others and find relief from their emotional pain. So let me share with you the some slides. So now you know the importance of grief at the workplace and knowing how to deal with the grief. First of all, we want to talk about a specific meaning of the grief based on Grief Recovery Method Institute that was founded by John and Russell 40 years ago. I'm sure if you go and Google the grief, you will find plenty meaning and definition of grief all over. But in this workshop, 
we are just emphasized in few important meaning of grief that defined by grief recovery method in a study. First, grief is the normal and natural reaction to change or loss of any kind. Grief by another name, people call it stress, burnout, depression, PTSD, trauma, complicated emotion, sadness, hopelessness, whatever that you name it, we call it grief. Because grief, the second meaning is the response to a change. Something has changed in our life. Look at with coronavirus, how we cope how many ch changes our lifestyles, workplace styles, remote jobs, our way of presentation, every world has changed from the lifestyle to the our way of cope with this, all these changes. So in response to a, any type of change, in or end of any familiar pattern or behavior. This is change, this is grief. So imagine I move my cup from there to this point. And meanwhile, it fell and broken. It's a two type of change. First, oh my God, I broken my lovely cup that I have received it from the beloved friend from the Stockholm. And I have lots of memory with it, intangible loss. And also tangible loss, I lost my glass. Or we have already lost the job, the uncertainty of will I keep my job or not? These fears also are our response to this type of the change and all our grief. So as a result of this reaction to any type of change, it gives us a conflict emotion. The conflict emotion it's a mix of emotions that as a result of this change, should, how long this COVID-19 will, will continue. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't know what will happen this life. This mixed emotion, we kept our stay our mental health our mental state of mind on a balance as much as we can but all of a sudden the future comes to us the worries and this robs us within like the moves like again the loss of jobs the loss of beloved of us during this COVID, loss of our health. I have lost 11 peoples of my beloved family. And it, all they have full package to impact to our reaction and behavior in our daily life and to others. So, the next slide, one more definition of grief. The feeling of reaching out for someone who 
always has been there for you, for me, for others. Only to find that when you need them one more time, they are not. And this is again, the feeling of grief that, or another reaching out for someone who's never even been there for us, only to find that when you need them one more time, they are still is not there. So how do you connect? How do you feel with this amount of loss that all entire our life we have taught that grief is only just for the loss of beloved or divorce or incomplete relationship but now it's a 40 type of it it's way above and beyond that it has impact to our productivity to our workplace to to myself and it's very important to get to know and normalize this pain and sorrow of grief. Now, I invite you to have a deep breath and think, oh my God, share with us in comment. Have you ever thought of the grief, definition of grief, the way that I say that? Or have you ever thought that 40 types of grief that I'm dealing during the day and I was not aware each moment of our life, each moment is change and how we react to each moment of these changes to make a balance and normalize the, our reaction to any type of changes. Now, I want to share with you what causes grief. I know we are aware, all of us, all the world, we have been through a lot of fears, stress, and we triggers or triggered with the COVID-19 situation and the Corona situation. But in fact, I want to take you all the way back to your childhood to know, to realize if I have the reaction, very severe reaction to any type of this losses, it's related to my childhood. Because when we go through life, we picking up the rocks. They begin begins in ch our childhood. We have not taught how to deal with them. More as we age, we don't take time to empathy our backpack. And these rocks include the two types of the losses. Tangible losses, as I mentioned, the loss of our job, the loss of moves, abuse, graduations, financial loss, illness, floods, foster care and the separations, violence, pregnancy for us, loss of an addiction as you see, I mentioned a lot of them, separation from our siblings and friends, immigration, being an immigrant, even from one state to another state, loss of staff, and I 
could say, as you see, I wrote it in capital, change. All these are tangible loss. Our pets, as Robin shared his losses yesterday with us, some of them. Yeah, the heads, perfect story. So let's go to move on intangible losses. What else? Safety, security, trust, respect, faith, expectations. I have lived all, all most of these losses in my life. Dreams, hope, unmet hope, unmet dreams. These are all intangible losses that we had experiences. As I mentioned, it begins in our childhood, also in our youth. Our children now look the how we were born with the bright eyes. We were born in harmony. And the griefs that during our childhood, you and you, we, we had intuition, we had intellect and emotion. All they are like a chain to so, as we move on, you have realized the new definition of grief with the old meaning of grief that you, you were aware. So, just take a moment to reflect and see. How many types of losses in both category, intangible and tangible losses, you have been through that now all those foundation, it's a like I call it like a volcano. We deactive those and now it in fact. We have an activated volcano that triggers with the COVID-19 and this type of lifestyle and workplace style. Right for us, the type of your losses that you experience is, or oh, just make a note for yourself. It's a great tools of awareness to find out what are other losses that triggers our behavior. And now, very interesting subject. Academy Award Recovery. When we want to get approval to show others, yes, I am able to handle this difficult situation. I will prove it because award academy recovery behavior also keeps us seeking the approval of others. No, think and Again, a reflection. The situation that at workplace in your life, any situation could be from your childhood to now that always you want to get approval of others. Very interesting topic. I love it actually. So. We want to know why grief is so misunderstood. There is a few important 
intellectual comments that we have learned this by society. Before I go further to mention this myth, I want to say, based on my own experience and during all many years that I have been working with clients, I want to keep in your mind that intellectual comments, the help of others, the, their intention was good, but it doesn't work anymore. Because now John and Russell have realized that grief is misunderstood because of misinformation. How many times when you were dealing with the loss of something and you heard this sentences they call it what did uh, what did you hear from others they say to you oh don't feel bad time heals replace your loss with shopping so drinking socializing how many of times you've heard to be a strong award academy recovery yeah I am a strong, I am patient, I can handle this. And the reality again, we hadn't had time to think and normalize the grief. Another myth, they say to us, keep yourself busy. How many times you keep yourself busy with work, with others? And time heals, just take time, grief alone, and many more things individual, as individual as your fingerprint. So this intellectual comment was disabling us from normalizing our pain and sorrow or talk about it. Nowadays, I call them ex expired belief system, expired intellectual comments. Because when I lost my job, unbelievable, people were saying to me, oh, you will get a better job. But I'm sure you are like me. That intellectual comment were not helpful. For me, they give me more insult and more hurt, hurts and more feeling of loss because of those intellectual comments and misinformation about grief. And as a result, I was isolated and chipped this inside myself and I wasn't share it with others. So again, reflect and think how many times you have heard this myth or how many times you have said it to others, both ways well, and no. Another reason, that grief is so misunderstood. As I said to you, we have not taught to, to normalize the grief. So consequently, it misunderstood with this intellectual comment. And now we are going with the short term, with the a new terms of stare. What is a stare? It's a short term energy relieving behavior. So for me, it was very interesting. I said, wait a minute, what does it mean? Stares. And I have realized, yeah, whenever we experiencing of any type of 40 types of grief, 
we replace our pain and sorrow with food, with alcohol, with isolation. As you can see in the slides deck, exercise, working more, sleep. In fact, any disorder to less sleeping or more sleeping, less eating or not eating at all. And my old version, Mitra, I was replacing with food, more eating. Tattoos, body art, a lot, anger, guilt. What else do you think was your stance? Because we grieve individually, so as unique as our fingerprint, as I mentioned, so our stirrups are as unique as our fingerprint for any type of loss. For example, if you have experience, the, for example, if you had experience of loss in your job, the loss of job. For example, if you, like me, had experienced of loss in your job, the serb of that is different from the serb of loss of beloved or loss of your pet or loss of your intangible loss, your safety. Each, interestingly, each loss has own steps. Any, of, any type of steps showing you that you are experiencing grief now. How about your situation right now? Which type of worries you want to replace with your steps? We don't know what are tomorrow's steps with the, these words that are going not with our first gram and workshop that Robin told us, it's a great tools to observe yourself with each change, how you react to that change, how do you want to rip, not giving it any more intellectual comment and how you want to replace your pain with the steps, okay? Are we good? So, I have hand out. So, go through your hand outs and the Grief Recovery Handbook. Upload them, download the, your homework and make a list to see what are your misinformation that you've heard all entire your life, what and what are your steps and where did you want it get approval of others? Award Academy Recovery. Okay. Well, welcome back. I'm sure you have already enjoyed and you have amazed with all those list of misinformation or myth, stirps and award academy. All these things become our belief systems. And as we hold the tide to those beliefs, 
that we have already grown up till now, even though we knew that they really didn't work, but still we resist resist to anyone who tries to tell us differently and they can be generational belief system too. Okay, as we know how hard it is for you from one to 10, give you yourself a rate. How much do you want to resist that? No, time heals. No, I'm not I agree. Still, our brain, because of our limiting beliefs, even when we are aware of it, again, based on our habit, we give this advice to next time, next person, in the next time with any people that experiences sing with any type of loss. So just keep it in your mind, our mind. Knowledge, attitude, beliefs, behaviors. It's a new KABB system that we can rely on it. Because as we get knowledge, you no, know, we have knowledge of grief and how we react to any changes at workplace, in life, outside, everywhere. And what's our attitude to those losses? What the belief system and behaviors, it's our reaction to those situations. And then another new things, how many times when we lost at workplace, everywhere, when we experiencing it at home, we are as a step using projection. Our success is ourselves, that our failures is from others. And then we want to, what was that? Award holding, the award recovery to prove that others were be. others fault that I'm ending up with loss of my job or any type of things, okay? This system, we need to change it because this belief system we have already known. We are educated people, we are professionals. We know we have lived with all this and we were experiencing of depression, anxiety, stress out, trauma, triggers. So we have this knowledge that they were not working because if they were working, for example, for me, why I was going through all this grief. So, we need to change this belief system together to increase our productivity, to feel the joy of each moment of our life, to be helpful to ourselves, others, and as a theory of Robbins, me, we, us, plus. When you deal with, go through and move on through the, your losses with the open eyes, with the new technique, you will be more 
productive. So, now, I want to talk about how are our belief system being challenged? Beliefs about our nation, state or community. But always, I said, before I go through the belief system of our nation, how about your personal belief system? family belief system, society's belief system. Because those beliefs come from our values. And we need to really cultivate all those limiting beliefs and go deep inside to find through the, this technique what or our belief system that's being challenged. So more of it, the beliefs about our workplace, lifestyle, about our faith and our leader's faith, political system, the vaccination, economy, COVID, we have a lot, our healthcare system, goodness of the humankind and all other disbelief system. Take the reflection for yourself and see how are our belief system being challenged to us. And more on and more on your grief, more than on the job, in the community, on the news, at home, and the sandwich of generation. Because a year for those that have kids or youth at home under age. Everybody were living together at home. And you know, those sandwich generational gap, I call it, is like a, do you remember we had during interview, the sandwich feedback first is a loaf of bread, then the meat, then the, another loaf of bread that we nicely wrap our, feedback with another nice good things of the loaf of bread it's for me remind me oh my god at home i have parents i have in-laws i have kids i have my nephews 12 years old and how all this changes at home has given me A reaction to all those changes and all those changes how they have given me different type of losses and how I react to those changes. So the grief recovery method works. We learn in three ways. Hearing, seeing, and doing involves storytelling what, and making meaning of what happened to us. Give, gives a voice to undelivered communication and complete incomplete relationships. Systematic helps organize our thoughts and emotions based in health public education theory, KABB, knowledge, attitude, beliefs, and behaviors. This is an action program that 
show you how, how to move on and how to say goodbye to the pain and sorrow. It has been 40 years in helping internationally across the world in a six continent, in a 20 plus languages and thousand train, trainers. And now with this evidence base, um, with partnership of the Kent University, College of Public Health, we are here to support each other and support ourselves to go through the activities. Some rise handouts are there for you. Go through the meaning of your grief, misinformation, stirps, award academy, finish with them tonight and tomorrow will be the great part and interesting part of it that I love this techniques because tomorrow we are going to draw a loss graph and then relationship graph and completion letter to say goodbye to pain and sorrow and move on and feel and joy of each moment of your life, your workplace, and all the time. Thank you so much for contributing and investing your time. Stay tuned.